All right, back again, Luke here. And today what I thought I'd do is show you this rig that I wound up wiring up here. Um, as you can see, I've got a ATX power supply and uh, I've got my 56 pin edge connector here for my JAMA board as well as my RGB to VGA converter. And uh, with all this wired up, uh, you can play arcade boards on a standard PC monitor. Now, this particular setup here with this particular converter uh, won't allow you to play these on your regular television set, but they do have different converters uh, available that do have uh, AV component out on it where you can just plug it right into your TV. Uh, this one's for a standard uh, VGA uh, PC monitor. But uh, if you're looking to make something like this and you're looking to do it cheaply, uh, this might be the way to go. Probably the most expensive part that you wind up getting is this converter. But uh, if you decide to go with a standard uh, AV out converter, you can probably pick those up for about I don't know, $25 or so? This one here cost me about $34 US, so. But uh, what you're gonna need here is you're gonna need a standard ATX power supply, preferably one that's made uh, in 2000 uh, to 2002, uh, because those are the years where they had the uh, negative five volts added. Uh, after I think either 2002 or 2004, a lot of these power supplies, they removed the negative five volts, so it's a good idea to get one of these older ones. And that negative five volts is down here. I know it's a, a mess to look at, but if you can see the red wire and the yellow wire, in between it, there's a white wire, and that white wire is your negative 5 volts. Reason why that's such an important thing with these uh, JAMA boards is because the negative 5 volts is needed for a lot of the sound. So if you can find one with that, that is a, a perfect setup here for the job that uh, you can you can build up your own, um, basically, uh, super gun. So. Uh, what I did here, as you can see, I don't have uh, the prettiest work. Um, the reason why is because, as I had mentioned before, I'm in the process of moving. So this is at my temporary place, and all I had to work with here was uh, some solder, scissors, black tape, electrical tape, and a screwdriver. So it looks a little rough, but it does the job. And uh, with these power supplies, you can pretty much pick them up for pretty cheap. Uh, usually the older power supplies, as long as they're still working, you can find them in some old PCs as well. Uh, this one here only cost me 315 yen, so not a bad deal for the, uh, the setup. And then what you want to do is probably get online here, if you're not too familiar with PC power supplies, uh, go and put in uh, like ATX pinouts or ATX power supply pinouts and it'll give you all the different wires and what the uh, what the voltages are for them. Uh, I can tell you what they are for right now. Um, basically what you're going to need is uh, if you look down here on the harness the red wire here is going to be your plus 5 volts the white wire is negative 5 volts the yellow wire next to that is plus 12 volts and the black wire is your ground now, for most of these JAMA boards, that's all you'll need. And in some rare cases, depending on the board, you might need this orange wire, and what that is is 3.3 volts. So, if you don't need it, you know, you don't have to add it, but some boards may require it. Um, other than that, you're going to find a green wire on the harness, and all of these wires can be clipped from the harness. I know you can't see it in here because it's just an electrical tape mess, but the regular harness that plugs into your motherboard has all of these wires on it, and you just clip them out. But the green wire here and another ground wire uh, combined together with a power switch will be your uh, off and on for the power. Some of these ATX power supplies have a power switch in the back. This one doesn't. Um, if you do have a, a power supply that has an on off switch in the back, you can just wind up uh, wiring these two together uh, and then you can use that uh, switch in back. It might be a little bit more convenient. And once you get all these wired up, um, the, the best way probably to figure out how to wire these to your 56 pin connector is once again just get online and type in uh, JAMA pinouts and uh, it'll tell you all the different pinouts. Well, other than that, if you have an arcade board at your home and or you have an arcade cab, it should have in the manual somewhere in the back of the manual all the different pinouts for the uh, connector so you can wire those up accordingly. And uh, you'll need a converter here. Like I said before, uh, this converter is just for VGA, um, and there are different uh, converters out there. This is for a standard single standalone monitor. Some of them have dual monitor outs, and then some of them have uh, S video, some of them have uh, component uh, AV. Uh, it all depends, you know. Find one that you're looking for, or find one that uh, you think you'll need, and uh, go with that. 
Basically with this one here, it has uh, two wires that plug into it. The red wire here is for the power and that can also be run into the power supply. And the black wire is the ground. And then if you see these wires here, you have uh, starting from the very end, this is the white one, this is your sink, uh, ground, blue, green, and red. And that'll all be wired into your 56 pin harness here. Now, uh, probably the most difficult part about this is going to be wiring up the controls. Uh, if you have some joysticks and you have some buttons laying around, this shouldn't be a problem at all. Uh, it should be quite easy. But if you did what I did, and uh, <laughs> like I said, I don't have many parts laying around here. So I had an old Sega, uh, Sega Saturn controller, and what I wound up doing is uh, hacking into it and changing around some of the wires and uh, making it so that I can use it for most of my games. Um, sadly, uh, I wasn't able to fit this in there. This is my... Uh, credit switch <laughs> just temporary until I can get some more time to wire this up properly uh, this is my temporary pad uh, and here I have up down left right I have the A B and C buttons which is pretty standard for a lot of the JAMA boards unless you're uh, doing something like um, Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat you might need five or six buttons but in that case uh, you probably have to go with a different controller and then I wired up the start button to here and on top of that, I have a uh, VGA uh, PC monitor, and then I have some powered speakers here, which are hooked up. And uh, that's all connected together with this 15-pin uh, uh, connector, this VGA connector. So, uh, if you can get this wired up, uh, it'll be, um, you know, no problems. You shouldn't have too many problems, uh, except for the fact if you're trying to use a TV uh, that has a PC VGA uh, adapter, and allows you to play uh, your PC through your uh, television. Uh, some of the TVs have auto uh, adjusting or they have uh, auto synchroniz yeah, synchronization. I can't even speak right. And uh, sometimes you might run into some trouble with that. You won't get the picture to work right. So just a standard PC monitor uh, will do the job. And uh, I read some emails about people asking questions on uh, if you could hook up old game machines to these and get them to play through. And from what I found is uh, it's not super easy to do. Um, if you look at this here, you can see these aren't the standard, you know, red, yellow, and white. These are uh, different component. Uh, this is the Y, the PB, and the PR. And uh, these are for uh, different, um, I can't think of the cable, uh, the RGB cable that uh, you can probably find with a GameCube or something like that. But for older game systems, it might be a little bit tricky to hook up. Uh, some of the other converters you might be able to hook up uh, directly. I'm not sure. Um, I, I don't have any of the other converters to verify that for right now, but someone will probably be able to uh, give you some advice. Just check the comments down below. And uh, you might be able to pick some of these things up for cheaper than what I had mentioned, um, depending on the place where you get them. I know some guys had uh, mentioned in one of my other videos that there were places where you could get for this kind of converter here for $34. Uh, I think... Um, what was it? Supreme Judge said uh, you could get this for $34, I think, shipped uh, through a different website. So, yeah. Uh, nonetheless, you can probably wind up building something like this, uh, probably a lot neater if you take the time, I don't know, for around 50 bucks or maybe less, you know. And if you're looking to build a super gun um, or buy a super gun off of the net or, um, you know, a control panel that had the super gun built into it, you're looking at probably a minimum of about 250 So. This will save you quite some cash, and uh, if you're handy with, uh, you know, the soldering pen and you like tinkering around with stuff, this might be something fun to do. Also, it'll give you a chance to play some of your older arcade boards uh, at home. So, well, enough talking here. Let's show you this thing in action. So, here's the uh, power switch here, and we'll go over here to our monitor, and you can see it comes on with the Chinese uh, characters there. But uh, there's the game, and this is a game that I hadn't uh, put a video up on, and this is uh, Gusun Oyoyo. It's a really fun game, and I'm not going to do too much gameplay here. Uh, maybe I'll make a better video of it uh, later on, but using this PC monitor, you can see the refresh lines are completely gone, so it'll make for uh, a lot better, a lot clearer arcade videos. And as you can see, I'm not using any MAME. This is the actual hardware here, so... Uh, if I go over here and uh, press my little switch, I know this is just temporary, but it'll do the job. You should hear 
something as soon as I turn the speakers on. Let's uh, turn these on and try this one more time. Doo -doo. And if I take my really hacked up uh, Sega Saturn controller and press start, and then it brings us to the main screen here, and she's just saying, like, uh, guest, you know, welcome. And over here you can see the different options. It says, like, uh, is this your first time? And the first one's like, yes. The second one's no. And the third one's like, I'm a pro. And, you know, it gets more and more. But it's a fun little puzzle game. And uh, it's kind of like a Solomon's Key and uh, Tetris type game. It's great. I don't know if this had a release in the States or not, or if it had a release in uh, other countries um, with a different name, but this is a, a really fun little game here. So let's press our button, start it up, and just to give it a little bit of a try. You know, you're going to get some of the reflection in the background here, but you can see, turn right, turn left, and that I'll move this one over. Ah, I'm gonna crush this guy if he doesn't get out of the way. There we go. And this one's just the standard uh, intro level, so not too hard. And... Yeah, so... You can see it works. Um, it has a great picture to it, um, very clear, and uh, you can do a lot of different settings here. Change the settings on the monitor. Uh, you can change the settings on the VGA card or the G, um, RGB to VGA adapter, as I had mentioned in one of my other videos. But yeah, I don't know. But this is a really, uh, really great game. Uh, it's a really good test game. And if you decide to make something like this, you know, make one of these kind of setups here, what you probably want to do is, uh, you know, get a game, uh, the cheapest game that you can find and a game that you really don't care about uh, too much and use that to test it. Uh, that way, if you wind up frying anything, then you don't have to be uh, too worried. I wouldn't go out and buy a cave shooter and plug that in uh, and, you know, try that out because, you know, you're wasting a ton of money with that. But, you know, just something that you can use to test it out. Hopefully, you won't have any problems with it and you won't have to worry about uh, any smoke or anything like that. But the, uh, the you know, the possibility is still there, I guess, uh, when dealing with any kind of electronics and things like that. But... Just want to give you guys a little bit of a look at my setup here, and uh, for the time being, it is working, and there is no trouble with it, although it doesn't look the prettiest in the world. It is something that you can make up yourself, and uh, depending on how much time you take on it, and how much you decide to do with it, you can really make a, a great little converter here for your arcade boards. So, yeah, that's about uh, all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon, so thanks for watching. Turn the volume back up here. I think that little guy died probably a couple times. Crush this little guy. Yeah, the water level rises here.